this math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, simplify 3 square root 8 plus the square root of 18. So in other words, we're being asked to add these two radicals together. And again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. And for that reason, I recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper. So in order to simplify this expression, the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the square root of 8 and the square root of 18. How am I going to rewrite the square root of 8? Well, 8 is the same thing as 4 times 2, and you may recall that 4 is a perfect square. And how am I going to rewrite the square root of 18? Well, that's simply going to be 9 times 2, and you may recall that 9 is a perfect square. So one of the laws of radicals you need to know for this test is if you have the square root of a times b, you can rewrite that to be the square root of a times the square root of b. So that's what we're going to do for our next step. This is going to become 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. What is the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is 2. So this becomes 3 times 2 times the square root of 2 plus what is the square root of 9? The square root of 9 is 3, so this becomes 3 times the square root of 2. All right, 3 times 2 is 6. And again, we typically don't express this multiplication symbol. So this is going to be rewritten as 6 square root of 2 plus, again, we don't express this multiplication symbol. 3 times the square root of 2 is just 3 square root 2. Now that these have the same radical, all we can do is add them. 6 square root 2 plus 3 square root 2 is going to be 9 square root 2. So the answer to this one is B, of course.